you're always nervous going into an emergency. Uh, but flying over Tacloban, I mean, the destruction was just, there's no words for it. When you land at the airport, you see people queuing up, trying to get out of the city. You see the total destruction. There was nothing left. The airport wasn't there anymore. It was wiped away. There were no leaves on the trees. There was no animal life whatsoever. And they're the kind of things that um, do mark you. It was uh, millions affected uh, and uh, hundreds of thousands displaced. We had organizations coming in from all over the world to assist in the response. Uh, and one of the big challenges always in this type of emergencies is logistics. When a sudden onset disaster occurs, chances are the supply chain is broken. The logistic cluster is led by the World Food Programme and brings together humanitarian logisticians from across the specter of organizations responding. We do that by mapping out the logistic gaps and bottlenecks and find out ways to overcome them. Through the World Economic Forum, world-leading logistics and transportation companies, UPS, Agility, Maersk and DP World have come together to support the World Food Programme and the logistics cluster. Because we truly believe that the private sector should step in when there is a humanitarian crisis. After all, these are our communities too. The LET is a prime example of the UN and the private sector working together in order to respond quickly in, this, in the case of an emergency. We're companies of supply chain, logistics and transportation and we can offer that assistance in, in order to better prepare the communities as well as be there for them when disaster strikes. So far we've responded to about 25 different emergencies or humanitarian uh, projects. And these are large scale disasters. This isn't just a typical monsoon or flooding thing, but a disaster where we collaborate is a disaster where there's more than 500,000 people affected. So very, very large scale disasters. Part of the uh, support that we provide the World Food Program is by contributing the expertise of our employees, of our people. One of the great things with the logistic emergency team is you have companies that normally compete coming together in one unity to assist the humanitarian community. If you consider that 60 to 80 percent of the emergency response spending is related to logistics, you can understand how important the pro bono contributions of the LET are for the logistics uh, cluster. They give their services for free and they don't charge for it. So more than what they give, it's the long-term relationship that you build up and understanding. And then you start to, to expand it beyond areas which are emergency response, talking about preparedness. The partnership has grown. So formerly we were just focusing on emergency response, but now we're looking at uh, local preparedness uh, to help mitigate the risks well in advance of any disasters. As we work together and support the LET members, we have found a deep spirit of collaboration, good faith, and also willingness to learn from each other, which all together energizes their passion to do something more for the survivors of humanitarian crisis around the world. In a nutshell, the work they do saves lives.